These reactors in Japan and in, in the U.S. are designed to withstand very powerful earthquakes. In fact, I believe that the reactors in California are designed to take stronger earthquakes than you just saw in Japan. And that's a hundred year quake, that level, right? Um, they, that was designed to, um, uh, that plant was designed to deal with the tsunami as well. But what you saw was something even greater than was anticipated. The seawalls weren't high enough. It is possible to have a full meltdown without a catastrophic release of radiation to the public because Three Mile Island, um, two-thirds of the fuel melted. And, and if all the fuel had melted, the progression of the accident wouldn't have been any different than it is today. And even in the case of complete meltdown, I don't think that there is a high probability that the primary reactor vessel will breach. And at this point, two days, three days into, into the accident, into the event, after reactor shut down, the residual heat that is produced, being produced is maybe only a few percent of what we had right after the reactor was shut down. So the possibility of a major explosion is very small. At Chernobyl, there was really a, an explosion of the core. But in Three Mile Island and in Fukushima plant, I don't think there's a possibility for explosion of the core. It is not possible for these kinds of reactors, water-cooled reactors, to gain criticality again. It's just not physically possible. We are using low enrichment uranium-235. So even when the whole core is molten into a blob, whether there is water or not, we cannot have a critical configuration where fission reaction can restart. This is not physically possible. So there could be some damage to the core and could be release of radioactivity. But in the case of Three Mile Island accident, the worst radiation exposure in the public was equivalent to something like two chest x-rays. Very likely the radiation released in the Fukushima site also would be similar to what was released at Three Mile Island accident. We learned some lessons from these unfortunate uh, events, but also we should be able to move forward. We learned a lot from Three Mile Island. We learned a lot. We incorporated that learning, that data, into new designs, new rules, new regulations, new safety protocol. This incident, likewise, we're going to learn a lot. We learned from 9-11 that, well, we better think about a total uh, station blackout. And so our systems, uh, the operators are trained, we have redundant systems in place that in fact we can operate the critical systems in the plant and cool the plant even if there's a total blackout. The next generation, new generation plants are much safer. It relies much more on passive features, namely gravity driven uh, cooling rather than pump that would be required. Absolutely, you need to take that information and incorporate it into your system so that you can improve how you build, how you uh, license, and how you um, achieve safety for these plants.